Hello there, welcome to MW Newscast, this is Michael. Today we got interesting news for you. Let's start with, first news, very alarming, less than 10% of plastic recycled worldwide. According to a recent report by the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, OECD, only 9% of the plastic used across the world is recycled. 460 million tons of plastic were used last year, which is almost double the amount used in 2000. Of the total plastic used, 90% was incinerated, 50% went to sanitary landfills, 22% was disposed of in a controlled dump site, burnt in open pits or leaked to the environment, and the remaining 9% was recycled. Even though during the COVID-19 pandemic, there was slight reduction in plastic usage, 2.2%. It is projected to increase again as the economy rebounds. World leaders at the fifth session of United Nations Environment Assembly, held in Nairobi earlier this month, have voted to adopt a resolution that paves the way for a legally binding agreement or treaty on plastic pollution by 2024. We hope the treaty is agreed and implemented by that time. Next, Android phones will limit sharing of users' data in apps. Apps on your phone are tracking you and collect a lot of information about you and your behavior, which for sure affects your privacy, even if apps do not monetize by showing your ads, but they may share or even sell your data. In 2021, Apple enabled iPhone users the opportunity to choose which apps are allowed to track their behavior across apps. The majority refused to be tracked and opted out. Now Google is following the same path by introducing privacy changes in Android that will limit the sharing of user data with third parties and operate without cross-app identifiers. Google is working with partners to implement the changes, which are not intended to go into place fully for at least two years. This is indeed good news, as you will have the option to limit apps collecting and sharing your information. Yeah. Last story for the day, a sobering news, just one alcoholic drink a day can shrink your brain. Doctors used to believe that moderate amounts of alcohol could provide health benefits, but now that assumption is called into question. Various studies have found no amount of alcohol drinking to be healthy. Even the World Health Federation recently published a policy briefing stating there is no level of alcohol consumption that is safe for health. A recent scientific study authored by researchers from schools including University of Wisconsin-Madison and the University of Pennsylvania and published in the British journal Nature analyzed data collected from more than 36,000 participants, generally healthy middle-aged and older adults from the UK. These people had provided information on the number of drinks they had each week in the previous year and had undergone MRI brain scan. According to the study, having just one drink per day might make your brain smaller. People at age 50 who drank a pint of beer or a 6 ounce, 175 milliliters glass of wine daily in the last month had brains that appeared 2 years older than those who drank half as much, and more genes can equate to even further aging and damage. You may need to think twice before you have your next drink, and that's this day's edition. If you like the stories, share with your contacts, and if you're not yet a subscriber, please click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching MW Newscast. This is Michael, and see you next time.